What's going on, everybody? I'm Ryan. I'm here with... Hey, it's Mike. There you go. This is episode or number 16 of The Stalker Effect, our, our show that we are trying to do more often, right? Yes. Right? Okay. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awesome. Hey, but um, hey, what did hey. you mean that by you don't really have a consistent work schedule? Like, what what is your your quote unquote work schedule then? Like, is it uh, just like they just post it up every Thursday and that's it? It's never like it's never consistent at all. Like, there's never yeah. you don't work like a certain set of dates. I could say. Nope. It's just always random. Yep. Well, that's Usually good. it's it's like you work one weekday and one weekend. Mm-hmm. But other than that, it's completely random. Shit. Like some hey. days I'll work Friday and Saturday. Some days I'll work Wednesday and Thursday, not even a weekend. It's, it's kind of annoying. How many days do you work a week? Usually two. Two? What? How do you only work two days yep. a week? I don't know. How does, how does that even, like, what? That's unheard of. Yeah. Two days a week. Yep. That's that's unheard I'm, of. I I would like more, but you know. Did you ask for more? There there is no place for more. Oh, there's not. That sucks then. Because yeah. they hired like six new guys at once, and I was one of them. Mm-hmm. So there's like, no place for more hours. All right, that, that's that really does suck though. Honestly, yep. I couldn't. I couldn't work if I only worked that many days a week, unless it was like I was like doing like a sport or something in school, and it was just like Saturday and Sunday. Because then that's still like that could still be a solid fifteen hours a week, which is kind of worth it, but then still not really at the same time. It's like nine hours a week. So for you, nine hours a week. Yep. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't. That's like. Uh, that's like. I feel like that's um. I don't know, it's just like, bleh. I don't know. Yep. Oh well, at least it's something, it's better than nothing, so that's what, that's how, that's how you gotta look at it, especially if you can't get more. You gotta look at it like that too, so, something's better than nothing. Yeah. So, uh, let's see, um, dude, my, 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 they, they flipped shit on me last night. They like, legitly. Did you tell them. I didn't tell them anything. I didn't do okay. By me and by my morals, you've seen the past like six videos, right? You know what's yeah. going on. You know my mindset yeah. right now and how everything yes. is. Yep. They like completely shut me out and said I have like no idea what I'm doing in my life. Like my dad looked me in the eyes and said I don't know shit. Like he looked me in the eyes and said I wrote it down. I got rid of. They he want he, they wanted me to do this um he wanted me to do this big apology thing for it I'll tell you what happened or what they're mad about but they wanted me to do this big apology thing for it so last night I'm like fuck it dude I got I'm just gonna do it now I'm gonna write this stuff down I'm gonna get these videos I'm gonna link the links I'm gonna make a little rant thing put it in a little audio thing put it on a flash drive give it to them they can re- and you know I have that journal right the red journal and all that stacks yeah. and notes I've compiled of shit. I'm like, I'm going to mm-hmm. give them that. They can fucking read it, and they can try to see what I've been thinking. Because they have no idea what's going on right now, obviously. To look me in the eye and tell me that I don't know anything at all. It really pissed me off. I was like, you don't think I, I know what I'm doing right now? The decisions I'm making? You don't you, you don't know how like happy I am right now? How hard I had to work to get here and, and have everything I have? It completely like, shut me out. Wow. I thought I had them read. I thought everything was... You know what I mean? I thought I had him right. Yeah. I I honestly mm-hmm. thought that. But then it's Jeez. like it wasn't in their belief system, so fuck it, shun him out. He has no idea what he's doing. You know what I mean? How people yeah. are like that? It doesn't what you do doesn't go into like their set belief system or whatever, so then they end up shunning you out or something. Mhm. Wow. But that and then so I gave him the the notebook. And all my notes and stuff to re- 
as like my apology thing. Cause I'm like, I wrote down in the letter, I'm like, I am not sitting down talking with you two about anything as what has transpired with this until you fucking get inside my mind for once. Cause you have no idea, obviously, everything that's, that's happened in the past six months. Like no idea. Cause otherwise you would not have like flipped this much shit on something. Yeah, well, it's, uh, but they found out I had sex, and that wasn't, that wasn't like, uh, I guess I didn't, I don't know, I don't like, I, I honestly, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know? Like, no. You don't know? I don't like, I don't even know where to go with it, honestly. It's just the stupidest thing I feel. You, you didn't, you didn't even say anything, just like, okay. Yeah. That's, uh, I well, well, I sat there and just I, hey, I learned I've learned in the past over the past year that when they got to pitch me, I just sit there and take it. I'll reflect, write down on it, rant about it later. There's no point in arguing it, arguing it right there because they're so mad about it. I'm gonna win the argument anyway. I always do. I just come back and fire back with the truth. I honestly, that's all I do now, and I always win the arguments, always. But I guess it didn't fit into their belief system or whatnot, and they got really mad about it, and I was like. And that's what they said. I wrote everything down. I don't, I don't have it, though, so I can't tell you. I'll tell you some other time when I get it all back. But that's what happened, and I'm just, just like, what the f- And i just, like, flipping off the walls. I'm like, so you, you don't think I have any idea what I'm doing here? Feelings? You, I don't know anything, right? You said that. I said, like, 20 times in, like, the little audio clip I made. I'm like, you said oh. it. I wrote it down. It's in writing. You, you can't take it back now. Forever. You're going to... You said that. Because... You, for some reason, I don't even know, like, why you, uh, you felt that mad or whatever about it or something, you know? Mm-hmm. But, yeah. um, yeah, that happened, and, uh, he threatened. It was kind of funny. I almost laughed at this, too. He's like, I'm, I guess I'm going to take your computer away, because i got to take something away from you. And I was going to say, I was about to fire back and say, you don't even, don't even go there, bro. You don't even own it. You, you didn't know. You can't. That doesn't work like that, bud. But I mean, I'm gonna well, win the argument here. What do you think? Technically, he could. He could, it. but I'm just saying he has no right, though. Mm, you live in his house. But it's our house. I'm just saying. You know what I? Now here's this thing too. That, that here's the thing that touched me here too. You know how parents flip flop back and forth with that concept, right? Yeah. About how it's our house and then it's their house, so the one person's well. house. Well, do your parents do that? I, kind of. Like, my parents just always say it's their house. They they jump between it's our house, right? We all live here. We all we all have upkeep. We all worked on it. We all built it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then when they're angry at you or you did something that they think is wrong by their beliefs, because that that's what happened here. This was wrong by their beliefs and what they thought was right and what they wanted. That's why they're so mad about it. Um, oh. They default back to, well, this is my house. Not our house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a wow. standard, like, uh, default thing. Hmm. That, uh, wow. But honestly, so, if you could see them, if you could have saw wait, my dad. What did they get so angry about, like, most of all? Just the fact that I, I had sex, I guess? That, that oh, was that it. That was what it was about? It wasn't yeah. about that. That you didn't want to go to college or no, that was it. Oh, okay. They don't. They don't. Right. And honestly, if they actually watch and listen to everything I've had to say, they can maybe see why I don't want to go to college because we I've talked about that. You know that. Yeah. Uh oh, what's that? Uh oh, what are you doing? Dude, that's an uh, Skype. <laughs> I don't have the audio playing oh, on the computer through the headset, just in Skype. So, uh. I'll fix that right now. But um so so what do you what do you think? I don't know. Like I don't know. It's just, it's just it's how, how did they find out? So, that's what I'm wondering. I don't even know. Okay, now you know honestly what it was. This is, I think it's I think it's funny. So somehow my mom yeah. my dad's like your mom found rubber in your trash can. I was like, "Oh." And I was like I thought about it for a second. I'm like, "Why was she going through my trash again in my room uh, yesterday night I guess I don't even know I don't even know when she did because I was in my room all night I don't remember anything but I guess that's what happened 
That's what my dad said. Oh. But um oh. I really don't care honestly because I'm not going to I'm not going to lose this fight. Or I'm not like I'm not going to sacrifice how great everything is with me and my happiness and everything just for them to push more of their ways on me. Yeah. Or whatever. Like, you know how, how I don't, I don't know, you're, you're younger than me, so I mean, you, your parents, I know your parents kind of like push you in a, when it comes to ways of growing up or whatever, but yeah, it's like, you know, you don't do anything stupid either. I don't do anything stupid either. Well. Well, what? I mean, I what? guess if you wanted to, you could classify having sex as something stupid. If it's reckless but, and irresponsible, yes. Just generally, teenage, you know. What do you mean? Keep going. You know, there's that Roll small that. percentage of chance that something goes wrong and bam. As in gone. pregnancy, you're saying. Yes. Hopefully. Okay. Well, that or is... AIDS. You know. AIDS. Well, if someone that you're, that's the, you never think, know. You never know where Courtney's been, huh? No, we. I. It's okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> you never know. Did she specifically tell you? Oh my god! Yeah, I love you, Mike. Did you get a test? Yeah, I'm gonna exactly. get a test. Exactly. I'm gonna die now. I have AIDS, Mike. You solved the puzzle. You, you solved the riddle. <laughs> I have AIDS in a few years. <laughs> oh man, I love you, dude. Pass over here, guys. What? Saving lives. Saving yeah, Mike over here. Voice of reason, saving lives, saying how it is, dude. That's what you <laughs> do. <laughs> oh my god, I love you. But um, I don't. I I honestly, it's like, it's just like, it's just, it was just them saying to me straight up in words that I have no idea the meaning of like feeling, seriousness, maturity, uh, lo- any of that, love. You know what I mean? No. Yeah. And it's like I have stronger beliefs and feelings with spiritual beings and all that kind of stuff than you guys do because i say whatever i want and there's never any repercussions of it like here here hear this out right this is uh, this is a true story so um you kind of know how i have like i have i honestly have a solid conscience right when i do something wrong that is actually wrong by wrong and i feel bad about it and i will actually apologize for it right Uh uh-huh if I do, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. uh, a couple months ago, I don't know, I don't remember, a couple months ago, I w- we were, I was out really late, right? With, and, uh, or whatnot. So, like really late. And it was way past like the curfew or whatever. And my dad, we're, we're sitting, we were in, I was in the garage. We were in the garage in my car. And it was like three o'clock, right? So my dad comes outside because it's like, where, you know what I mean? Where are you? Whatnot. And he's he's yeah. not really like because my mom would told him or whatever. So he comes out. He's not really awake or conscious. Where like you could kind of tell that he was like mad. He's like walking around. He's talking, like, "Where are you?" I didn't really I didn't say anything at all, right? So then he goes back inside like five minutes later or whatever. And it's like, okay, well this is enough. Time to go. So she leaves, and I'm like, I'm like I'm just standing in the garage, right? I was so afraid to walk inside that door and face the repercussions for being like three hours late or whatever, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Because my dad came outside, whatever came inside he wasn't even at the table i i could have i in my mind and like with everything i envisioned him sitting at the kitchen table waiting to yell at me and just destroy me just fucking annihilate me but he didn't i felt so bad that night because of like what happened with them you know and yeah i was like i felt terrible about it i stayed up for like another hour right and i wrote this letter thing and kind of trying to explain things. And that, that honestly transpired in a whole own, like, page, honestly, like a whole page and a half of stuff in that red thing, in the red journal. And, but they didn't get that part. But, and I gave it, and I left it out. I'm like, I'm sorry. I, cause I, for that act of being late, I was actually sorry for that. I knew I was in the wrong for dragging something on that long. You know what I'm saying? And I actually felt bad about it, right? But, what I did, you could say, uh-huh. in the sex thing, it's yeah. like, I wanted that, we both wanted that, and I have no regrets or, like, why am I apologizing to you for doing that? Why are you so furious at me that I, you know what I mean? Like, 
Yeah. I, yeah. I, I can see in a way why, but it, it, overall it's like that is nothing to be getting all up in arms about like this. Mm-hmm. I guess. All right, Mike, your thoughts. My thoughts? Yeah, you're comprehending. Oh, well, my thoughts on that, that first story. Yeah, I can come home whenever I feel like it because they don't like me staying at other people's houses overnight. So they'd mm-hmm. rather have me come home at 3 in the morning than 10 o'clock the next day. So. Uh-huh. I don't know. <laughs> hey, now, thing. Here's the thing here about that whole thing. And this is a car that yeah. I'm going to win when I bring up the conversation with them about precedence. They're like, we have to set precedence in this house because you're the oldest, right? And you've got younger siblings, and we have to set a precedent so they don't expect or think that you had special privileges over them. And honestly, I agree with that. It makes sense. But when you do, when you say and do that, you're putting us all on an equal playing field, saying we all have equal maturity levels. Our mindsets are all equal. We're all, we all understand things the exact same way. And which is far, 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 far from the truth, right? Yeah. In my family, at least. Yeah. So, you can have precedence to an extent, but you have to bend them for each person and be able to just explain to each of us individually or as a whole why. Why are you so afraid to actually like – you know, I kind of – you see what I'm saying there? Yeah, I kind of feel it. Like I'm not, trying to, dog. I'm not trying to abuse anything or say you're right or wrong. It's just like you have to face the facts and the truth. Face the facts, dog. What up, dog? It's my thing. I've been feeling you, yo. Okay. Uh, so keep going. Yeah, I understand. I understand. But you know, you still gotta, you know, you still gotta. I don't know. Come on, just what, what, come on. I I my mind is not articulating words, so. Well, say say something. Just think about it from your parents' perspective. Did you did you try that for? Yeah, a good I while? did. I yeah, honestly, like that's a long the thing. while. Not a very long while because it was like this is ridiculous. Well, honestly, gotta... it defaults. It's not like. It's not like yeah. I, I'm their kid, right? I understand that completely, but you know how my mindset is now. You've got to let go of these things. You can't. You want me to move on and be somebody in, in the world and understand these things and grow up and everything and you're saying, and now you're saying, uh, and now you're saying don't grow up too fast or this, this and that. And it's like, I'm not growing up too fast, man. I've been this mindset forever, but you have no idea. It's like, I learned last night too, just how little interest they've actually taken in my life over the past year. And how little, and how little they actually know about what I've gone through and what I've felt and everything. And how yeah. little interest they even show now. Jumping down my throat for something. Mhm. But, yeah, I do see what you're saying with your perspective, with their perspective though. You know, I'm their kid, our house, their house, that kind of thing. But it's not like I'm, I w- well, I'm reckless hey, about hey, anything. Hey, hey. Hey? They use their house. To make you feel like a community, but in all reality, it's 100% their house. Yeah, but I'm still their kid, and I still live here. 99.9% their house. Yeah. Well, you pay the bills, the water bills, the the gas. That's what you're saying, though, but you're not going to throw me out in the street. I didn't say that they were going to do that. I'm just saying it's... Hypothetically speaking, yes, but if if you want to play that kind of card... Then it's like, well, I own this, this, and this because I got this with this, and this, and my money. And if this is your house, well, then why do I have to help with upkeep and help do this and this and this if it's your house? And then they say, oh, you live here. Hey, if you want me to start helping you, if you want me to chip in 200, 300 bucks a month to help pay the bill so it could be my house too, heaven, I'll do that shit. But you won't do that. And you know that I would do that. It's because it's, it's, that's because it's not nearly enough. Well, I know, so, but yeah, I know that. Do you think I don't? I know the the realistic um realistic figures of it, Mike. Yes. <laughs> or whatnot, but 
Yeah, I, I see what they're getting at, but then it's just it's still like it's not something that I should be apologizing for. Yeah, all right, I see. Do you I agree see. a semi a bit with that? Well, all right, that you should not be apologizing for. Jeez. Oh, because I will not. I'm not apologizing for anything. They could beat me to death. They won't get shit. And you know that I won't. I don't know. I don't know how far you go. I don't know how many fingers and toes it would take to make you say I'm sorry. Mike, you've... I, I bet I bet you'd get there. You'd get there. No. After three toes, maybe an eyeball. <laughs> I bet you'd get there. <laughs> hey, so what were you, you going to say before? You were going to say no. something and you stopped. I don't remember. <laughs> You're an idiot. But, um, hey, have, what's your spiel about what they're thinking? They're sp- oh, they're think. I don't... Well, what would you think would go through their mind? Because you were saying put yourself in their shoes, so... Alright, what's go. going through their minds yeah. is that... How long have we been dating her? Okay, did I talk about did I talk about the window with you? See, that's another thing. I haven't really gone into depth with you, Corey, or anybody really about how this whole thing really has worked with anybody. Well... No. Partially because, well, no one's ever asked, and you know How me, does it work? As of lately, I'll tell you, okay? Wait, what's I, the question you need to be asked? What's a window? I don't get what a window exactly. is. Exactly, I'll, I'll, I'll build them up. But, like, no one ever asked just, like, how things are going or what things are. How are things going? Yeah. Oh, my, shut what things up. are. <laughs> you asshole. There you go, buddy. <laughs> but you know what I mean? And uh, sure. it's kind of only when things are going bad or when you do something, quote-unquote, wrong that... Ah, you know, you care all of a sudden, right? Uh, so, it's like a nine-month window, honestly. Nine months? Mm-hmm. It's like pregnancy month. Shut up, Mike. What are you talking about? What's a when window? I, like a window, what like from this? when I've known her. Yeah, for... what is this window? Oh, Shut up. okay. No, not okay. that. That's a different thing. Okay, it's what we described it as when we talked about it. Time out. Okay, so I've known her, honestly, for over a year now. That's, okay? Yes, yes. And we've been talking, like, honestly, since about January of last year, but it wasn't like Corey and Riley talking, where it's like on and off, you know what I mean? It was like solid from like then till now still solid, you know what I mean? Right, yeah, ten months. So it's been like a total of honestly like nine to ten months now, right, of that. Yeah. And then we, but we didn't really do anything per se in the aspects of like, we'll say. When would it become quote unquote Facebook official? Facebook official? Probably yes. June. Early June, June? mid June, yeah. June, 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 June. But the weird thing about it is that the, 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 the feelings or whatever, the seriousness of it actually. Four months, right? Is there, yes, four months. Is there, We'll figure that out too. We did all the math. Is before that, like, it wasn't need to be established that it was quote unquote official, right? Oh, jeez. All right, fine. When did you guys start doing datey stuff? Datey stuff? June. Yes, June. Okay. So that's when the relationship would have started. Like per se. Normally. Yeah. But the thing so, is that, but the weird circumstance is, months. yes, you're right. But here's the thing. The weird circumstance was is that the feelings and everything was there before June, more say January, February, May, April, Mayish even, right? But the thing is, is it's not on my end that's kind of sketchy, but the fact that. Oh yeah, her those Facebook pictures. Oh yeah, they... yeah. We talked to you. You saw all that. But the fact of the matter is, is that she wasn't kind of letting go because of you know we've we've talked about how everyone has different mindsets. Oh, everyone you does. Right, yeah, never mind. You know what I mean? Everyone people don't yes. always let go. That they're afraid. They don't want to let go of something for fear of something, or they don't want to make things awkward. Wait, or they don't wait. think they think it's a rough patch, right? And things will get things would get better, and it wasn't what it really was or whatnot, right? 
And you see yeah. it firsthand, though, right? You're you're talking about that kind of stuff firsthand, and you learn how real things are here, and that that's the like complete. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what it is. That's what right. it was. Right. Right. So, May I ask a question now? All right. Do, oh, you were gonna ask a question. You didn't all say right. anything. Let me throw this at you. All right. Puzzle me. Did she talk to you, like with the feelings, while she was still dating someone? Yes. Kind of. Well, not like, not like how we would. Like, okay, we didn't. You didn't talk about them, right? But you knew they were there. As in a, when you talk to them, kind of thing, right? Or with the way they were thinking about something else. Maybe. Right. I don't really know how to describe that. Like, it's like talking about it firsthand, like you would do now. Then no. But where they or was she dating someone else? When? When's your window here? I don't know. January. Yes, but you could say that thing was a complete flop, and it's like what? What was it? You wouldn't call it like like a cheating aspect thing, right? Because you, 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 yeah. I, you, I see that's kind of what you're leading at. Yeah. But you could say yes and no with that, but it's like knowing that something's going downhill, but you don't want to. You think it's a rough spot in that, and you don't want to end it because of just how how you are as a person, right? Yeah. It's like a learning process for a lot of people. Yeah. Me, I know that if something was that was was happening, I'd say done, over, get scat. You know. Well, don't hang on to things. You don't know that. I do you know, don't that. know that. You I don't. do know that, Mike. You don't know that. You didn't watch the video, did you? You don't know that unless you're there. Yes, but you, you kind of see what I'm saying about it. Yeah. And it's not like, here's another thing that came up multiple times throughout the entire nine, nine to four month thing, right? You talk about yeah. feeling seriousness, maturity, and how it's different for everybody, right? You know that. Mm-hmm. Everyone handles certain things differently. Everyone takes things in different opinions or aspects of things. Everyone looks at things in different perspectives or different ways. And it's like, you know something is different than something else. Because, let's say, of how easy some a certain thing is. Like, quote-unquote, knowing and being, like, happy is, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're not... You don't have to do much to please a person. You know what I mean? Sure. Kind yeah. of like how you, me, and Corey, we're such good friends, right? Honestly. And overall, right? Yeah. But we have a unique relationship that a lot of other people don't have, right? Yeah. But here's the thing. We don't, now even, more than ever, we don't see each other at all. We don't talk to each other very, very, very rarely anymore. But when we do, we're still able to communicate, laugh, have a serious conversation about something serious with no, no like, judgments or, like, immature, you know what I mean? Kind of? Uh, no? You don't, you don't, maybe. Maybe. Well, at least what like you me? and me, or him and me. You know what I mean? What about me? I don't know about me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I can talk to you about anything, right? Sure, yeah. If I want to. Mm-hmm. And we've known each other for so long, and we're friends. Actual. Yeah. You saw, did I, I talk real. about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, did I, yeah, you know what I mean? Did you, did I, did I do a video about that? The whole friends thing, or was that like kind of tied in their relationships thing? I think it was, but I, oh, I felt like geez. I was I felt like I was gonna do something just on like the word friends, because that's a common misconception I feel in society when it comes to now and ever. Kind of like how I talked about love and how for me and what I know about it is it's everlasting. When you love somebody, you'll love them forever, whether or not it's in a relationship, it's an idea or an opinion or a feeling. Or they come in, or they're they're here now, and then you know they're going to be gone, or they're going, or when they're gone, you're still going to love them because they had a an influence in your life, something that actually changed you as a person, or had an effect on you that made you do something or figure something out, or um, fuck, what 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 was the word I'm looking for? Or uh, uh, I can't uh, think, of, I can't think of the word. Shut up, Mike. You yeah, okay. can contribute more to the conversation, Mike. Well, you're 
you keep on talking about the stuff that you've prepared and you're just throwing it at me. I can't come up with deep, ingrained, real thoughts on the spot. It takes pondering. Pondering takes time. So, yeah, I know. Yes. I'm kind of hitting you up shortly with it because all this stuff has been what's floating around for the longest time. Uh-huh. So, yep. But you gotta have something, though. What were we talking about? I don't even know. Exactly. Okay. Uh, you did not do a specific video on friends. Alright. Just saying. <laughs> okay. But, well, that was um, a deep, deep, uh, deep. Deep thread. Yeah, sure. Lots of interesting thoughts. Hey, man, that stuff's all been there. It's been written down, and it's been in most of those videos, so it's not like it's... For me, yep. it's not like it's not what actually happened or was there. But honestly, that I don't know. I might have brought it up in text. I brought it up to Corey, but people have this sex thing on way too high of a pedestal. Just like how they look at people and how they... They, how they said, how my dad said, yeah, she's like, I had you on such a high pedestal and you just knocked yourself off. And I'm like, why are you putting people up on pedestals? Really you know? Like, it is a deep, intimate thing, but if the feelings are there, then nothing changes in the, in the relationship or in the act of the thing that's going on, then why are you, why are you yes. smiting it? No, no, no. What? Oh boy. Using your vocabulary? Smiting it? Smiting right, well. it. I feel like that's something First of all, <laughs> there's scientific evidence proving that something does change after you have sex. So is there there's Mike? that? Yes. Which one's that? Uh, jeez, have to link it. Link it. I don't right. know. There's articles all about it. Well, like what? Are you talking about like emotional feeling things or like physical things, Mike? Yes. Like emotional chemicals. Okay, we'll link it or something, or tell me what you know. Okay, I need to be... You, you make you make all these stuffs that, I don't know, do stuff. Like what? Mike? I don't know. I have to find them. You didn't read? Jeez. You don't know? <laughs> I don't know what they're called. They're, right, what they're do they like, do? I don't need the scientific names, they, Mike. They make, uh, they make you, like, connect. They make you, like want to protect this person and, like, stay with them and... What if those feelings... But here's the catch. Catch. Catch to that, to the, to what you said about those two things, right? What if you already felt that way? What if you were already willing to do that? Uh... On both sides. You see what I'm saying about the mindset thing and the feelings thing? Yeah, How you just it, know it's there, saying, right? And you I'm know... Yeah, but then there's science too. But you really think my parents are looking at this from a scientific standpoint, Mike? Uh, yes. <laughs> Shut up. No, they're not. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them you said that. <laughs> well, no, don't bring me into this. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just kidding. But you, but you, you I'm know what? Just that kid that used to be your friend. <laughs> that used to but be now, your friend. Now, if you turn into the druggy teenager, <laughs> having sex with everyone you see. Can't be around you anymore. I think you need help. <laughs> yeah, I probably do. I got so many problems. Go to therapy or something, right? Exactly. But you see what I'm saying when it comes to, like the serious and maturity thing, right? Yeah. Because honestly, it's something that that when you're serious about, it, you actually take it into consider in the like consideration or whatever, or like the mature factor of the whole thing. It's kind of like. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like bam. you talk about it, but you don't think you do, and you're like, you're willing to let it happen because you're like, nothing's gonna, you know what I'm saying? It's not like a reckless act, or at least it wasn't for this. Why are you making it out to be like it was? Or that I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm doing with my life or with my body, or you know what I'm saying? How can you judge what I can live with or what's right for me? When you always say, make sure you do what you want as long as you can live with it and you're happy with it. You know, like, have you noticed how when, how when parents get really mad at you, they, they default away from what they've always told you about, like, life or feelings or whatever? And they start drilling in their thoughts and what they believe? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
Honestly, that's something I realized in the past 24 hours that I had never thought about that concept, really. Because I never had a reason to think about it or to prove it, you know? It was never, and you know? But now yeah. it's like, that's kind of how that game works, and that's not that's not how you should play that game. That's not that's not good. That's not right. Uh-huh. But, I mean, that's, that's how humans are. You know, there's not, people aren't, when it comes to me, I'm a very open-minded person. I've become that over the past year. Um, I have very strong beliefs on certain things, but if you can provide evidence or facts or an example of how it's different in a way than what I've said, I'll change my beliefs or mold it into something different. I've done that so much over the past couple months to years when it comes to beliefs and how things are. Yeah. But no one's willing to actually... You you are one of the only few people that will say science says this because of this. Here's the article that says this. Read it. Uh, and you do do that. I'm trying to. Because <clears throat> you're like me in the aspect of knowing uh, that stuff is certain ways, but a lot of people won't read the information or whatnot to accept or whatever, right? Yeah. In a way. But um, I don't know. I just it just really pissed me off. It honestly. And then they're mm-hmm. like, they want, they're wanting apologies, and they can't come over here now at all because of this. You lost all my trust. You can't even be alone now in the basement. It's like, what, what are you, what is going on? What, you're letting initial anger for something, like, take full control of, like, emotions here. And everything you say, and that's not, that's not a good thing. Take a step back and think for a second about what you're saying. Um. What? Oh, this is probably it, actually. I don't know. I'm watching... There's, like, videos. On what? And I think... I, I don't know. On Let's say something about this. Oh, okay. See, I like this. You're so, finding facts right now. I've been reading books lately. I'm into books. I don't like books. I hate books. No. It's really, um... I don't know. I can read books if, like, what they're about interests me, right? But if they're a book yeah. that I'm forced to read in school or whatever, it's like, it's like, uh-uh. All right. One of these videos has it. Maybe. Maybe? Yeah. You this don't know? Two Vsauce videos. I think, I'm pretty sure it's in one of these videos. Dude, I, two um... Two Vsauce videos of the science of friend zone for, for the viewers. And how much money is love worth? I don't no, know. No, just reliable there. sources when it comes to information. Yeah, these are sites, everything. Are you sure? Okay, he's got off Wikipedia, and so okay, yeah. that's good. What? Yep, I saw the I saw the links. But uh, hey, I pre-ordered Battlefield yesterday. Hey. I saw that you pre-ordered it too, so I was like, preloading the game Tuesday, baby. Are you excited? Wait, I pre-ordered the game. Did you? I thought it said you yeah, did. Yeah, I pre-ordered the game. Yeah, you did. Cause I, yeah, I said you pre-ordered it. Cause I'm like, it's it said in the origin thing. It's like when I hovered over, it's like. This friend owns this game or something. I was like, oh, look at that. Isn't that nifty? Oh, it says that? Yeah. That's what I thought it did. Let me look. Friends. Oh, no. Just go to your Friends. games library and hover over the game. Oh. That's what I That's what I did. Um. Huh. Hey, look. Uh, you're online. I am online. Yeah, see? Or maybe not. Oh, preload October 26th, baby. Alright. Well, gonna preload the game, Mike? Uh, I'm gonna have to. In order to play it within a week of release. So. Cause your internet speed is just crap. No, the internet speed is good. The router is terrible. It doesn't get here. But, so. Uh, okay, so that's that. Um, I had out my little spiel of what happened. And. My spiel. Yeah. It's true. It yep. all is, and it's... I don't... The thing about it, too, is, like, how they're wanting apologies about it and whatnot. It's like, God told, God spoke to me and said, you do what you want, you do this, you're not gonna... Nothing's gonna change here. You're gonna be fine. I am fine. I feel fine. Nothing's wrong. Nothing's gonna be wrong. I went with what I wanted or what you both wanted, and nothing is changing. He didn't smite me. I had no recollection of doing anything wrong. No feelings like I do when I do something wrong. Nothing. Smite. I learned, yeah, and then that's not right, because that's not your beliefs. <laughs> but then I learned, but then it's like, when I when it happened, it's like, these people are putting this thing on way too high a pedestal. Yeah, it's an intimate thing, but this is just, it's not, 
It's not this this thing that everyone's talking about. It's like when you say when you said over the I don't know if it, when it was in Skype or a text message. You're just like, well, that's the way life. That's the way you're reproducing life. That's the way it was intended. It's like exactly. I said that's the purpose of life. Yeah, that's the purpose of life, right? I don't, I don't remember what you goal. said. I can't that's quote yourself, Mike. I, I'm sorry. Goal. I didn't write down your quote. It was just like, there's Mike with the facts, bringing logic to everything. I believe it was. It's the goal of life. Yes. To reproduce. Not the purpose. The goal. goal. My bad, Mike. <laughs> I, 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 I think I said it wrong, too, so... It's just something like that, right? And yeah. people are putting on a way to have a pedestal. If you do it meaningfully, right, and everything, there's no reason to be getting all worked up about this kind of thing. Nah. You got this stuff in your emotions on a way to have a pedestal. Wait, right? Oh, okay, all right. So you said doing it right. Yeah, as in... And the real question is, what brand? Um, <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> huh? What? Huh? What brand? I know what you're talking was it about. Those, was it those 25 cent ones you get in the the bathrooms at the mall? No, Mike, it wasn't one of those. Good yeah, try, though. it probably was. <laughs> Shut up. I know it. <laughs> oh, no, but it wasn't, though, so it's okay. But, I mean, that's honestly what I learned from it all. And I'm like, God was right, man. This is like, these people nowadays, they put, they don't understand this shit. They, they got these things on way too high pedestals. They don't, no one knows other people well enough to, to be throwing down judgments like this and, and saying these kind of things. Huh. I guess. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. you think that I don't know what I'm doing or that I don't know what these feelings are or what, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you kind Are of you know saying that. that about me? No, about me. Oh, about me. Like me as in me. Yeah, me as in me. Yeah. yeah. I and mean, you can think about it too, right? You do. You, you, I don't. I don't. I haven't really talked to you much about that kind of stuff. I haven't talked to. Um, Corey. Yeah, I've talked to Corey about that kind of the kind of feelings and stuff more because he's been going through more of that stuff, you know. Yeah. You really don't. You were like you're like me. In a way that you just kind of just don't even bother with it. I just float. Yeah, like it doesn't, it's nothing like, it's nothing that you like want or desire right now. You know what I'm saying, right? Yep. In a way. I lived uh, that train for until last year, right? Yeah. I talked about that in the little rant I did. How I have so many, I had so many chances with so many certain things and regrets and things that could have happened that should have happened, but why? You know, it's not, you know? Like, you can tell when something's different, you know? Yeah. You think that, yeah, what? Yes. You're 16, I'm 17, we don't know what we're talking about? We don't know how to follow I'm dreams? I'm 17, or... Ryan. You're 17? Same age as you. Oh, that's right. Your birthday was what? Um, Like, two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago. Yeah. I forgot about that. I'm sorry, yeah. bud. Yeah. I knew, it was, I knew it was in October, but I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> Do you forgive me? Yeah. Yours right. is January... Seventh? No, January eighth. But hey, I don't know the exact date either. I'm so close. Yours is like what the um, I want to say the twelfth. The ninth. Ninth. Close enough. But. So. Yeah. But that's um. I don't know, like, I just don't, I hate when people do that too, they throw the age thing in and they think that, hey, you're 17, I'm 17, we don't have any idea what being successful is or how to be successful or what dreams are or goals or what love or maturity or seriousness is, you don't think, you know what I mean? Yeah. So They don't, you can't, it's just, it's all fucked up, honestly. Yep. And it gets people because it's honestly the truth. You know, I've learned that when it comes to being friends with somebody and having something that's unique, it's not about, you know, going and doing something all the time or doing crazy things or always going places. You know what I mean? Uh huh. It's about being able to actually talk to them and communicate thoughts, feelings, and just conversation and talk to someone for hours on end about something or about, about life or just about what's going on, you know? Like, that's all we used to do on Xbox. That's what it was for us. It was a social thing where we talk about the day, we just have fun, 
conversation, social aspect, right? Oh, man. Back in the good old days. I know, right? Back with no worries, no nothing. So much fun, dude. And but we're, hey, we're get, we're trying to get back into that. Honestly, you know, Corey's got his job. He's he's got his mindset on this. Honestly, right now, he's really excited to make it happen. Honestly, which is kind of surprising. I mean, you and me, we're we're in it, man. It's happening. We're living the dream. It's, that's what I say, dude. I'm living my dream right now, bro. There's nothing that I wouldn't take back from anything right now. I've worked so hard to get all this all this crap. And you people don't you, people don't think that it really, you really worked that hard, or you had to you had to give something or change something, you know what I mean? They look at it and they think, aha, or you just got handed to that on a silver platter, right? Or whatever. Uh, yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't know the <laughs> expression to give. But that's what it is when it comes to like relationships and stuff. I did a video about that too, and it's like I'm like, it's not about going somewhere with them all the time or doing this crazy stuff. It's about talking and communicating things, being able to go deep and explain deep. what's there, right? And when you yeah. can do that, you know it's something reasonable. Uh-huh. Or it's kind of like when it comes to like a quick relationship thing or when things are going quicker than you think they would, right? It's like how you're still talking the exact same amount you did before about the same about the same kind of concepts or ideas and nothing's really changing. Yeah. Feelings are all the same. And it has every potential to last as long as you want it to. Because it's just what it is. I'll talk to you about that, I guess, that kind of idea. And, and kind of like the deeper stuff. Off air. Yeah. Oh boy, getting fancy. Because we're on so air. So secret. I know, right? We didn't go deep at all here. This is all This is all like that make-believe shit. We don't know what we're talking about. We're, we're teenagers, right? We're all idiots, right? Exactly. We don't know how to read, what books are, what internet videos are. Or t- what's the fucking internet, dude? What the heck are all these words? Whew. Who's the internet? Yeah, who is the internet, bro? Who is internet? Who is internet? I'll teach you how to internet. I think my dad taught me how to internet. <laughs> I don't know, though. <laughs> oh, I can't man. really remember. Maybe? I don't know, dude. What? But, um... I'm trying to think. So, hey, what's up? What, what, what do you think about all this now? What are your... Overall conclusions. Overall conclusions. Your opinion, in a way, what are you, what is your stance? Alright, uh, oh, darn. Okay. My opinion on this situation is you need to think about it more. Your parents and you need to talk it out. Yes, that will happen. And it'll all settle out. Exactly. That's what I was thinking about it. Like, last night I thought about it and I just was like, I did my apology thing. I did what they wanted and I was just like, I'm done with this. I've thought about it. I'm I'm not going to have this on my mind the next couple days because there's no reason to. Until I do this, this apology thing and I get it settled and try to get them in my mindset with things. Then I'll sit down and talk to them. Once they watch the videos, once they read the papers, and understand what's been going on over the past year, then I will sit down and talk to them about things. And I will watch how they they approach things 100% differently than they did when they yelled at me. Because they have a little bit of an insight on actually what's happening, right? Yep. And I'll tell them how things are different. I'll tell them how you know. And I'll say that you already saw the proof in there because it was written down, it was said. I don't need to explain things more than once. It's all there. Doesn't change. Ain't never gonna change. Ain't nothing gonna change. So, yeah. So, I do, I, I'm, your mindset on that is the exact same as mine. I'm like, this is not something that's gonna destroy anything. They're not gonna punish me or take anything away. Because I learned that too, um, Fuck, I think I've honestly, honestly, this is going to be probably the second big conversation I had with them about something. Last time we had it was, I want to say, a year or two ago, where it got heated. or not, it, really, it didn't get heated, but it got deep in a way for that time, per se. I don't even remember what it was about, honestly, but it was one of those deep kind of conversations or whatnot about things. And it changed things, mm-hmm. right? 
you know, when you go deep or whatever, or you say what you're actually thinking or what you want, things change, and you can see it. And yeah. honestly, you could say it's been probably a year and a half, two years since that last thing, and another one's due, right? Yep. I tried to sit down with him and talk about things after the last time I felt bad for the, that in the coming home late thing that I talked about before. I tried to sit down and talk to him about that kind of, and when we were sitting there, nothing was there. It was just like, there's nothing to fight for right now. There's nothing to, you got nothing. You know? Yeah. It's just like, it was just kind of like a, it was like an honest mistake or whatever, and you know it was, it was, you overthought it a little bit. I've learned to control yeah. how much I think about certain things. I've learned that so here's a cra- here here's a crazy thing. I've learned that the only way I can be at peace with things is either I write it down, then I rant about it or something, or I actually talk about it in a video form because that's what I like to do, just to have it out so yeah. it's it's out there. You can go back, you can listen to it. Other people can maybe see it. You know, you can see it. Corey will see it. People that actually follow the stuff will hear it. Right? Uh huh. Have their, they'll know what's up indirectly. They'll know what's up. They'll know what's up, man. But, um, that's, uh, that's that. I'm happy that you feel that way, though. That's good. Yeah. I'm glad that that's what's there. So. So. How is Mike? You're pretty pumped. How's Mike? Yeah, dude, you're pretty pumped right now. You got everything going right now. Yeah, I guess so. You're like me a year ago. You're hopping right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was not a year ago. It was way less than a year. I know. It's more it like, was like... It's like February, right? Maybe. No, it was, no, it was like May. It was like... No, it was... No, I mean... It was definitely April. when school was out. I'm pretty sure... It was when school was out. It was early June, I think. Ah, uh-uh. yeah. It started like, dude. Sorry. It started like, I don't know. Everything seemed to start going for me when I got the when the computer finally happened, which was in like, I want to say March, February. I want to say that's when everything started like to be so clear and kind of come in a circle. Circles. Circles like pie. Like oranges. Apples. I have more of a potato kind of guy. Potatoes. Remember when um we always used to play video games and we like your mom would cut up like the apples and apples and like plate we'd have like plates of apples, <laughs> sliced apples, dude. Who doesn't remember that? I know, dude. It's so. And then so my mom would cut them like into slices. Uh huh. And your mom would like cut them into chunks. Mm hmm. Those are the good old days. Just back in the no worries, no days. Uh, mac and cheese all the time, bro. <laughs> oh wow! And then I, uh, oh, what what else was there? Just like the yeah. imagination stuff, man. All the crazy. Oh yeah. All the the and crazy. The, the, the hockey sticks as guns. Oh yeah, dude. Still, we still have those things, man. That stuff is just oh hockey sticks as guns. Often, dude. Man, all the. That's just, really nice. Uh, yep. Oh wow. It's amazing how time, how fast time flies, dude. This year's, this year's already a quarter over almost. Can you believe that? Wow. Like the school year and stuff? It's already almost a quarter gone, man. Already. It feels like it just started that yesterday. Yeah, didn't your guys' quarter end this week? Oh, it's next week. Friday. Friday, yeah, yeah this week. Yeah. It's tomorrow. Dude, time is, yeah, tomorrow's Friday. Dude, this week has flown by already. I can't believe tomorrow's Friday already. Where, the time is just, it just it just goes. I don't even know where it goes to anymore. It's crazy. It's like think about it you're like fucking five, six months from now, no more school, working and trying to do this stuff, have some fun with it. And honestly it's just mind blowing. I swear to God. But Hey the Batman game comes out tomorrow. Are you getting that? I don't know, dude. I haven't, I haven't really played the first. I played Arkham Asylum a decent amount. Uh, they're, they're fun games. I probably won't get it right away because it's not something I'm rushing. The only game I know I'm gonna get right away on release is the Battlefield and Assassin's Creed. I like Assassin's Creed. I think this one will be a neat little, you know. That was just like entertaining. 
And this one looks like it's going to be a lot of fun because it's going to improve on the mechanics from the last game or whatever. Yeah. So. Hey, I was happy that uh, we got to do the show, though. That was nice. I was, um... I don't even remember what I was going to bring up originally about all this stuff, but... We just, we, we're, dude, this is going to get good. I can feel it already. We're already getting back into it. Start doing the the videos and stuff. Dude, Firefox is being weird. What do you mean? I have it open right now. It's, it's not it's not giving me the like the buttons to close it, minimize it and Is the Skype thing it. is the Skype thing in the way? No. Nothing's open. Oh, okay. Um I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Huh. Oh well. Um, so let's see, uh, anything else? No, I, I, I got nothing. Got nothing right After now, that, dude. dude. I feel like that, that's the good, that's, that's good rap, dude. That was crazy. That was nice. That was good. That was solid. That was solid work, buddy. Shake my hand, a little high five action. There you ah. go. Oh, I've got fingerprints. <laughs> so, um, hey, we'll, we'll wrap it there. We'll end it here, here, guys. This was, uh, okay. number what, 16? Yep, we're gonna go, Mike. Fifty by the end of the school year. Oh, now we'll probably like I say like twenty-five or something. I don't know, but we'll we'll it'll be fun. So there's we'll have the goal there. We can get uh, stuff up and running. Get, get fifty. Get, uh, no, not fifty. Forty. 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 40? Okay. All right, forty then. There's your goal. Get the YouTube yeah. stuff up and running for the new games. It's gonna be fun, everybody. Yeah. You know, it's Frost ends. Plan, little re buy re buy buy. Bleh. Re- revamp. Revamp. There you go. That's the word. See, he's the vocab guy. Um, a little revamp action. You know, we're, we're bringing back the good old days. This is what, this is what this shit's all about, right, Mike? Oh yeah, dude. Living the dream. Living as, the dream. As we would say, here for us, just living the dream. That's what it's about, everybody. Follow the dream and live it up, because you never know when it won't be there anymore, right? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, um, I'm Ryan. I'm Mike. And this has been the Stalker Effect. We're gonna talk to everybody later. You have a great, uh, great day, evening, whatever time of the year it is for you. Signing off.